papa arangiza arambira ngo ngo ubundi ngo ngiye wabereye mu bitaro ngo wavuye yo mukazu kagwa mu rugo umuntu yibyariye umuntu yibyariye yarangiza ka muri bingibi Every firstborn child is supposed to be a blessing to her younger siblings but to Mosanabera Anet her life became nothing but a curse to them Yo na na pe niko enda mu photo ha ha mfita gerageza kuba nyifite ho mubiri nari narafashwe Oko na ro mu pe na ro mu ko sinje wari mwiza cyane ariko nari mfite mu biri nange ni yumva Ever since she was young Anet was ambitious and courageous aiming to improve the lives of her poor family but when she was doing her senior five she got a mysterious sickness which almost killed her Ntino kijya kimbabaza nuko hano hose nciye usibye naho nciye nabantu babarwaye hano babarwaza Munyesa mbona kavuga ngo narwaye sida kandi nizi nayigiye imana nukuri nago nigize nyirwana After two years in the hospital we visited her and she narrated her sad reality I no longer manage to eat. When I do, the food is stuck here. When it's stuck, maybe it becomes too much for my throat and I vomit. Through givinglife.com, people contributed donations to improve her life and this time around, we visited her again with the donations and we offered them to her. Yes. Hey wow, mu buzima nako ndana ndana yafata. Yes. Yes. Buzu buzu na. Mhm. Ro kumere. Eh. Mu joku bugu. Mhm. She was more than thrilled by the act of kindness extended to her by strangers. Man niziza no kuri mu buzima navuka. Ndugwa mbere nyabonye hari nayo yakiye ngo wende no kuri telefone kandi arahari pe and she was thankful to everyone who has contributed to make her life better giving life ndabashimira si I am thankful to the giving life and the Afromax community for helping me in this difficult situation I'm dealing with it's a great honor and a privilege and I'm grateful to everyone who has helped me even though we don't know each other More than two years, Annette has spent almost her life lying helplessly on this bed alone. She had barely had anyone to take care of her, and as her condition worsened, so did friends and family doubling down on distancing themselves from her. When we visited her for the first time, she could not manage to hide her tears. She had been in a hospital for almost two years and she was yet to find her condition. It was later discovered that she had been suffering from throat cancer. Doctors resorted to hiding her condition from her, though she later came to find it out. What hurt me the most is that they hid it from me and I only knew it later when I came and asked her to disclose my condition. I told her that I have medical papers from the hospital, yet I don't know what I'm suffering from. Doctor replied saying, Annette, you know we are friends. Let me tell you what you were suffering from. But make sure to accept the situation. By the time I guess something was wrong, that's when she said that I was suffering from throat cancer. She also informed me that my throat cancer has spread across my body and that by the time we couldn't disclose the problem I had it was spreading and causing me problems. <laughs> In the first days of her sickness, Anet had caretakers who would come to sit by her side as she recovered from her sickness. But as time went by, people distanced themselves from her. Annette resorted to calling her father, whom she wanted him to help her financially. Her father was a heavy drinker, and the response he gave her was one of the worst any patient can receive. Papa, Dad said, since you have been at the hospital, you can't come home 
and die from that. I say, if you are telling me that I can't come home, I have seen so many people dying in front of me, but my God knows what is the best for me. I decided to stay in the hospital and told him to rejoice by the time I die. Not only her father, but her friends and other family members were not kind to her as well, which further exacerbated her condition. And whenever I tried to call at home, my dad is a drunkard whose life is almost wasted. He was not interested in my well-being. My mother was the one still trying to take care of me. Maybe I became a burden to my family. My mother was telling me how they have run out of money and she was worried of what could have happened after my death. This is not something you tell a patient who is still looking for medical treatments. It was a harsh reality that they no longer considered me. They thought it was a matter of time before I breathed my last breath. It's a pity that I have been left to rot here alone, yet they know what I need, someone to be by my side. With no one to take care of her, Annette remained with nothing but waiting for death. She would remember how this sickness caught her unprepared as she was living a happy life with her aunt. She had big dreams to achieve, starting from attending university, improving her family's financial conditions and many more. With her deteriorating condition, all that was gone in a blink of an eye and she was left with the heavy fight for her life. But ever since we visited her, people have been kind to her as they started to send her some money which she used to pay for her huge medical bills and medicine. When you published my story, people saw me on Afrimax English and some of them visited me. They helped me with medical bills and they gave me money to pay for my medicine. If I'm yet to leave the hospital, I'm thankful that I got the big help that I needed and it's all because of my story that you published. I'm thankful to you and everyone who has helped me. Mm. <laughs> She said to have earned a lot of friends. Some people who she has never met called her and offered some help. Others called her and prayed for her. She's thankful to also doctors who have been near her all the time she had spent in the hospital. I'm thankful to my doctors. They have really helped all this long. Whenever I need something, they will do in their power to improve my life. I have various needs and whatever I ask for help, they are always ready to give me some help. I'm thankful to them. Her mother, Uzamkunda Justin, remembers how they sold everything to help her daughter until they remained with absolutely nothing. She's thankful to the donation that was received today as it will help her family to come back on their feet again. As her family, we have given out everything we had. Some of her younger siblings have dropped out of school so that they can help me to take care of her. We sold almost every property we had in our house and it was very frustrating to see her situation worsening instead of improving. We have a huge debt and we intend to pay it using this money. We will also use the money to pay the school fees of the young siblings of Annette. Annette is going to use a big chunk of this donation to pay for the outstanding debt of her medical bills and she will use the rest to pay for other medical treatments she desperately needs. Every day, Annette uses expensive medicines to stay alive and she still needs more support 
given that she has to get advanced treatment as soon as possible. You can keep donating to improve her life through givinglife.com with links found in description and pinned in top comments. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.